Tech.com. The college football national championship game, and I got a 13-1 trend backing up my pick. This is Brad Powers in the pregame.com studios just off the Vegas trip. We're down to the final college football game of the season, a rematch of last year's national championship game. We have Clemson, Alabama. Is it payback time for the Clemson Tigers? I think so to a certain extent, and we don't need for them to win the game outright to cash this ticket, but let's talk about their opponent, Alabama, particularly on the offensive side of the ball where they have massive distractions at the offensive coordinator position. Lane Kiffin is out. Steve Sarkeesian is in, and this will be the first time all season Steve Sarkeesian will be calling plays, and let's break this down. He is an offensive quality control assistant, not even a position coach so legally and by the NCAA rules he has very limited contact with these players so you have to downgrade Alabama's offense and that's why we like Clemson. So we go from three years of continuity to Sark suddenly having to call the plays. Yeah Saban must have thought Kiffin was a major negative. Kiffin wasn't handling both jobs the FAU head coach job the offensive coordinator job so and there was a lot of distractions so but even with that you have to downgrade this Alabama offense with Sark calling plays for the first time. Absolutely. We downgrade Alabama, but we upgrade Clemson. That was truly impressive, the butt kicking that they administered to the Ohio State Buckeyes, outgained them by 250 yards. I moved their power rating up three points. Yeah, I completely agree with that uh, move up of three points in that one. And let's talk about another edge, massive for Clemson here. Clemson's quarterback, Deshaun Watson. I don't care who won the Heisman Trophy. Deshaun Watson is the best player in college football. And on the other side of the football, Alabama's quarterback, Jalen Hurts, done a great job. But there's a reason why a starting quarterback as a true freshman hasn't been on a national championship team since 1985. And with all the pressure last week, Hurts wasn't a good look. He was only 7 out of 14. You know, with that upgrade to Clemson, we have to talk about this because this is what the public normally does is they overreact to any one game. But I think this game really was special. When you saw the way Clemson blew up Ohio State on the line of scrimmage, I think a huge upgrade was necessary. Yeah, it definitely was. And you can call it recency bias. I'm going to follow right along with it here. Let, let's be honest. They weren't playing Little Sisters of the Poor. They weren't playing an overmatched Washington team with players not make, you know, making their first ever college football playoff appearance. That was Ohio State and Urban Meyer who came into it as arguably the best bowl coach in the country. Your second key handicap. Second key handicap. Let's talk about some trends in my favor, particularly for Clemson here. No team in the country has been better than Clemson in bowl games, specifically as an underdog. They are 6-0 and against the spread the last five years, 5-1 and straight up, and again, all in the underdog role. You take it back even further, the underdog in Clemson Bowl games, 13-1 and against the spread. Dabo Sweeney has been completely out coaching his opponents in those games, and I love the fact I can make the case for he out coached in the finals last year against Alabama, where they needed that onside kick to ultimately win the game. Not only out coaching them, but let's talk again about this trend and why it plays a significant part in this game. Clemson as a program, classic underachiever during the 13 1 trend. Early on in that trend, they were an underachiever and were playing in less, lesser bowl games. They're a favorite, didn't cover. Lately, with Dabo Sweeney out coaching the opposition. It's been an overachieving program. They've been playing in big, big bowl games against great competition. They've been covering. And plus, I got to throw this in here the ACC this year, 9 and 2 against the spread in bowl games. Let's hope it goes to 10 and 2. Let's make it official. Yeah, let's make this official. We're taking Clemson plus the points in the national championship game. Alabama has massive distractions at the offensive coordinator spot. Lane Kiffin's out. Steve Sarkeesian's in. Calling plays for the first time this entire season. Downgrade Alabama on the flip side. Clemson, great bull underdog, 6-0 against the spread with five outright upset wins the last five years. Add it all up, and we look for this one to be very close. More videos, pregame.com.